How's it going everybody? My name is Doge and today I'm going to be reviewing another car that everybody forgot about. Now this car is criminally underrated and I, and I honestly don't see why you guys forgot about it so much. And I'm going to show you why it's underrated and also it's kind of fictional. So yeah, this is the new 2021 technically fictional Chevy Tahoe SS. Now apart from the regular Tahoe, that was offered in 2021 this is the new this is the newest tahoe model this this specific ss trim comes with a 435 horsepower 6.2 liter naturally aspirated v8 but unfortunately this is this is faster than the new escalade v by a large amount and it is also less heavier than like a freight ton and it has less gears than the Escalade V, and somehow it is still faster than it. So that's the reason why I. So that's the reason why I think this breaks the system and it's criminally underrated. And and fun fact, this is actually a fictional trim, as I said earlier. The Tahoe SS actually does not exist in real life, so it's cool that they added this. And upon the appearance, it looks very. It looks like very, you know, masculine. Um. Anyway. Yeah, it, this looks very, very cool, and I'm surprised it beat the Escalade V in basically everything. But uh, but aside from that, this is the most shocking part, in my opinion, is that this is fictional. And yeah, and and upon the appearance and performance, let me show you the dealership specs. All right, so here we are at the dealership page for the new 2021 Chevy Tahoe, also known as the 2021 Chevron Camion in the dealership page, as you can see. Now, this comes in a, in abundance of trims. However, it is still a pretty old model. It's been in the game for uh, about a year and a half or so. I don't know, but the base model is LS. Then. It comes in the RSC, which is like like the the most upscale version you could get. That's before the SS, and as you could see, it's it's basically the non SS sporty variant. And then there's the SS, which is what we got here with with the with the 450 horsepower V8. Uh, not sure if the, not sure about the miles with miles a gallon. They might need to fix that. It's a nine seater actually, but it but yeah. But as I said, it's incredibly heavy, and um. Yeah, it, the they didn't really get all of this right, except the top speed. But I don't really care. Then there's the high country, which is like the more off-road and more durable version. Then there's the premier, which is kind of the luxury variant. And then there's the C the Z71, which is also a off-road slash sporty variant. It also it comes with like the same. It's it ha most of these actually come with the 5.3 liter V instead of the 6.2. I think, oh yeah, the P, the PPV decom, the decom is the basically the police variant, and then it's the LT, which is an upscale base model kind of thing, and then that it's back to LS with the base model. So in conclusion, the RST, the SS, I think those are the only ones that have the six point, the six point two liter, and then all the rest have five point threes, and the colors are actually pretty nice. And I think I think they make good cho I think they make good daily driver colors in my honest opinion because every single one is so fitting. All right, now that I've shown you guys the dealership page, let me show you what this thing sounds like. Alright, now that I've shown you guys the lighting and the sounds, let me show you how fast this is. Alright, so you know what's cool about this guys? This is actually a 6 speed manual transmission and I think it's the only fictional car to have a 6 speed manual that's in like a big sporty SUV. So yeah, anyway, I'm a, this has a rev limiter of like 4,500 so I'm pretty sure I have, I have kind of launch control settled. I'm a, alright, I'm a floor it in 3. Two, one, go. OK, 
Okay, it's at top speed of 134 miles an hour and it is all wheel drive by the way. Let's check the braking. Braking is absolutely awful. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of what you'd expect from like a big body, like big V8, big, en big engine SUV and whatnot. And now that I've shown you guys the performance, let me show you how it drives. All right, now for the driving experience. As you'd expect, the turning is absolutely awful. Like I can, I cannot turn at any sort of speed whatsoever without crashing, except maybe like 20 or 30 miles an hour. That's it. But aside from that, it's pretty reasonably quick, and it sounds very, very good. And and surprisingly, this is a fictional car, and it does not exist. So yeah. This, this also beats the Escalade V in almost every single category in terms of performance and it kind of breaks the system a little bit. See, the Escalade V weighs, I think, 6,400 pounds, while this only weighs 5,400 and the Escalade V has an 8-speed automatic while this has a, sp while this has a 6-speed manual. They both have the same size of V8, but, but this produces less horsepower and somehow it still manages to beat the Escalade V in a race. I tested this before, so you guys, please trust me. So yeah, I'm in all seriousness, driving this is actually pretty cool because you're driving it around, you're driving it around in a criminally, criminally underrated fictional SUV that nobody knows about anymore. Well, they, they know it exists, but they just don't use it because they choose not to, and they're missing out, which is why I'm telling you guys to buy this as like a budget form of sports SUV because you know it's it's a cool car it's it's not really that fun to drive but although it is pretty quick for a Chevy and may I say it's a as I said this already it's an incredibly cool car and to that's just about what wraps it up for today if you guys like this review then please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you guys in the next in the next car review and, and speaking of car reviews, please remember to leave your suggestions in the comments below. I will try and reply to any sort of them like in, in under 12 hours because I know I haven't been doing that lately. But anyway, like and subscribe for more future videos. And by the way, the, the, the roleplay series comes back this Tuesday. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.